Welcome to the crafting end. In the last update video, it was clear that the Tetra Morium by Carinatum are booming. It's not weird, because it's what they are known for. Fast growing and inbreeding. And fast growing they are. We went from this in May to this in June. That tube is packed. I can't even count the queens. Guess they need an expansion. Stick around till the end. There will be a few crafting bloopers. In our last Campanotus video, we made a wooden nest inside our new flex nest. Today, we are making a white tongue insert for the flex nest. This is the current design. We want the nest to be useful for different species. This is why the tunnels are wide. But smaller species want to start in smaller chambers. Let's see if this mix works. The hole in the middle is for a screw to keep the lid from bending. The two narrow chambers next to it are for the hydration. For our tetras, we're using the large nest. They will outgrow the medium way too fast. Of course, we will be milling it on our CNC. Because of the dust, it's hard to film. So here are some pictures. White tongue is used because it's a softer material, but it retains water really well. It also has a downside. Some ants can easily chew through it. But because it's in our printed flex nest, that's not a problem. Let's build the new setup. First, the flex nest with the white tongue insert. The nest has three exits. This way you can put more in a row. But today we are only using one. The other will be closed off with blinds. Before placing the plexiglass, don't forget to hydrate the white tongue. You can do it after, but it would take more time to spread out. Connected to the nest will be a corridor with a new version of a water supply called the double drinker. It has two tubes for easy replacing and they are under an angle that makes it easier to climb. Only thing left is to prepare the connection to the old nest. On one side we will use a tube with an old and a new connector. Hopefully the flex of the tubing will help us a bit. For the outworld we will use a direct connector. Ok, now the plan. Last time with the Campanotus Vargas changing the setup was a disaster. This time I tried to prepare even more. I noticed that if I move the setup a bit, almost all the ants go back into the tube or the feeding corridor. I will use this to disconnect the outworld and connect the tubing to the new corridor. Then quickly connect the outworld, scoop up all the escapees and put them in the outworld. Let's go. Okay, first I'm taking off the outworld. Quick connect. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, this is why we went for the new connectors. For the new one. Connected. Done. Time to get the Hoover out. All in all, not that bad. And here we are, the new setup. I was happy with the change of setup. Now the waiting game started. Would they like the nest or not? So here are the first seven hours sped up. A lot. The tetras don't seem to use the nest, except for hydration. And then this happened. Look in the top chamber. And that's about the time my camera stopped working. As soon as I found out, we were already at this stage. 
they were bringing in large amounts of brood. Just look at this see-through highway. In a time span of about an hour, we went from this to this. This is two days later. As you can see, they are still occupying the rooms. The double drinker is in use, but they are also still in the tube. But it's fine. This was meant as an expansion and not a replacement. The ants are very happy. And so am I. Now it's time for the truth and some crafting bloopers. For you that stayed this far, some honesty. Tetramorum vicarinatum ants are bastards. They will do anything to make your life hard. So using them for this nest test was a challenge. And here is why. First time connecting the ants, they had too much space between the white tongue and the plexiglass. I took it apart and put some filling between the flex nest and the white tongue. Then this happened. They were under the white tongue. When I took it out, the white tongue broke because it was wet. I ended up making a new block that was thicker and the chambers a bit less deep for overall strength. Now the nest is great. And I've had no problems in the last three days. The testing is not done. But this video is. If you also want to help our channel, join our Discord. And like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching and see you next week at the Crafting End.